This is my daughter, Mary. How do you do? I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long, Daddy. Well, not too long, my dear, anyway. <laughs> well, we're ready to cast off when you're ready, sir. Yes, sir. Right Thank away, you, sir. sir. just as good as you in just a few days. 
All right, Skipper. Wake up, Skipper. That's it. Time to take your medicine. Yeah. Drink it all. That's it. Now you'll be back. Uh, nasty stuff. Daddy. Listen, Daddy. We're almost into Singapore now. And when we land, I'm going to get you a doctor. Mary. You know what I think of doctors. But, Daddy, you've got to have a doctor. How oh, many times must I tell you that I don't want a doctor on this ship? I've never had a doctor in my life, and I don't want one now. There, darling, now don't get yourself all up. Now listen, regardless of what he says, he needs a doctor. Well, I feel good the same as he does about doctors, but... If you say bring a doctor, I'll bring a doctor. Oh, and be sure you bring a good one. I'll tell you, Mary. If there's a good doctor in Singapore, you can rest assured I'll get him and bring him out. go ashore. You ain't back here for daybreak. I'm going to come and drag you back. We're sailing in the morning. Only one night ashore. And he's held out half a month's pay on us. Ah, he knows how glad we'd be to jump this hell ship. You'd better be back on time, buddy. He knows every dive in Singapore. Oh, hey, Scar, you better stay here and row me ashore tonight. Anything you say, Basto? Hey, now listen, you fellas. Remember what I said. If you're not back here, I'm going to come after you. How about second mate? Is he going ashore? Oh, he's gone. I saw him getting shaved and powdered. He's a pretty boy. Die, gripes. I'm going to hang one on his jaw before we land in Manila. Well, this old tub ain't never going to see Manila again. Hmm? Another one lost at sea. Yeah. You've got a nerve to sink this one after all them others. You've burnt them, you've lost them in storms, you've sunk them on reefs. Ain't you afraid they'll get wise? <laughs> no, no, I got a new way to do that. Do you think he heard? I'll find out. Hey, second. Yes, sir. Come here. Waiting for a boat? Yes, sir. Why weren't you ready to go with the men? I was busy, sir. Oh. Busy, eh? Well, I'm going ashore tonight. You better stay with the ship. I'm sorry, sir, but I have very important business in Singapore. <laughs> you, uh, heard too much. Oh! Lost at sea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get ready and go. <laughs> Get out of here! 
Beep, beep. Well, come on, girls. Have a drink with me. That's it. <laughs> Hey, if you're afraid you'll cut your throat? No, yes, no. Come on, you get out of here. Have a chair. Yeah, thanks. Have a cigar? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Tell me. Hey, you have my letter? Yes. Everything is all arranged. I have big cargo on your ship. Fine. Then the money is just the same as in your pocket. If we have no trouble, some of the sailors talked too much after last ship went down. Yeah? I say, listen, there won't be any sailors left to talk after this ship goes down. A real disaster? Sure. With many lives lost? Sure. An excellent idea. I approve very highly. Come on. Hey, wait up. Yes, sir. Check. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Wait up. Bring the menu. We want some food. Yes, sir. Hey, I got the money. I put the money down there. Where's my Where's the money? Hey, listen, don't put anything on your Come on, Where do you think you're going? I'm a guest tonight. Who'd you tell to get that dough? I made that showing some tourists around. But I didn't bring him to this cheap joint. Gangway. <laughs> Give me a drink, bartender. Yeah. Have one with me, will you? No, thank you. Am I so lousy that nobody will drink with me? Why, I'll drink with you. Good old Florida. <laughs> what a drink of you are. Oh, it's just a matter of practice. Who's the captain? Oh, he's nice enough, old fellow. He's, he's been pretty sick, though. He's got the Chinese fever. Don't think he'll last very long. In fact, Wong, I'll be tickled pink if he lasts long enough to get us out of port so we won't be delayed here. Are you anxious to leave Singapore? Sure, why not? I presume you wanted to see your girl in port. Oh, oh you mean conscious. Ha, 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 no. I got a new girl. A new girl? Sure, the skipper's daughter. But can you trust her? Sure, I can always trust my women. Well, maybe you can't trust this one. Not right now, but... After we've been shipwrecked for a few weeks together on a tropical isle, things will be different, eh? <laughs> hey, how much coverage did you get on this cargo? Eighty thousand dollars. Eighty? Great! Yeah, you should have had a hundred thousand. Well, however, with my half, I guess I'll be able to get me a boat of my own. Say, I've got to get me an officer before I leave port. I lost my second mate on this last trip, and I can't clear unless I have one. Well, you find all the officers you want at the bar. Well, that's fine. Oh, where are the papers? I got them here. 
Here you are. Great. Man, yes, we a lot. Look him over, eh? Well, we was sailing in the South Seas in an 80-mile gale. And baby, that's some gale. And a 50-foot shark. Oh, the Oh! What's happened to you? Well, as I was saying, we was sailing in an 80-mile typhoon. <laughs> Where did you get it? Just a minute here. Why don't you take a bully of your own size? You my size? Well, I'm near enough. <laughs> oh, fight, eh? <laughs> well, I... Stop him, please. Oh, no, no. Let him fight a while. What did he do? He is the first officer of the ship. Oh, just the kind of a man I need. I'm going over and talk to him. <laughs> well, you're all right, my pal. You're all right. Yes, yeah. Just fix you up just a little bit. Oh, that's nothing. What a boy. Pretty husky wallop you carry there, youngster. I'm not in very good condition, though. No? <laughs> Neither is Bill. You want any men? Yeah, one of my worst. How about a drink? Thanks. Now, let's go over and sit down and talk a little bit, will you? I understand you're a seafaring man. Yeah. Trent's my name. Steve Trent. I've got a certificate steamer sail if you know of a berth. Wow. I am in need of a second mate. Can you sign on tonight? I'm for Manila, though. I suppose you want to get back to the States, eh? The port doesn't matter. I guess you get back on my feet. Bring us a couple of drinks later. All right. Make it three. Who's your friend? Oh, we're both on the beach here. What do you do? Oh, I'm a cook and a good one, too. Yeah, I'll bet so. Say, I can make a Christmas dinner out of salt horse. And all hands swear it's turkey. <laughs> give room in the galley, the poor devil needs me. Yeah, give me a job, Governor. Oh, very right well. Thanks. I'll cook me heart out for you. Oh, uh, thanks. See Bolson Murray at the bar. He'll take you out to the tub. Thank you, Sam. Okay. <laughs> all right, I suppose, eh? Oh, yeah. Dancer. I wonder where she hails from. Oh, she's a half cast from the island down below here somewhere. She's a pet.
time since I've seen you. Well, hello, Crunchy. Come to my room. Wow. I see that you know Crunchy. Come back. Hey, kid, you look good to me. Let me go, you swine. <laughs> See you aboard, Skipper. All right, Skipper. I'll be there. Cognac. yourself. What ship you on now? Eh? Well, uh, what's the difference? I'm on an old schooner. You are still what they call first mate, no? Well, sure I am. I've always been a first mate. Been a little bit more than that on this trip, though. The old captain has been pretty sick. Can't you? He welcome you back. Now you must drink the punch. Now I know why you not come to shore sooner. You stay with the captain, eh? Uh, you always were a smart girl, eh? I learned so much from you. But you will not have to worry. You hurry back, eh? You have someone take care of the sick captain, no? Sure. The captain's daughter. Daughter? Is she pretty? <laughs> I don't know. I know you will. Is she prettier than me? Ah, now don't start in by being jealous of you. I can't. Help I you. don't know. Then do I? There are no men. Except you. Let's not spoil. There is so little time. Ah. Like that candle. There is only one way to put it out. I show you. I'm sorry, Hunter. There's no use pretending. I thought you were smart enough to catch on. But I see that I have to tell you. I'm through, Concha. Bueno. You are through with me. But I am not through with you. I give you back everything you give me. Here. Give these to 
you, you're a captain's daughter. I know you like her. I can tell. That's fine. Wait. There is something else I forget. You gave me a long time ago. I want nothing to remind me of you. Hi, bloater. Oh, it don't be funny. I've <laughs> been looking through more keyholes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Have you had your breakfast? Another drop. <laughs> <laughs> Get up there on your throw that smock and oh, pair. Oh, right. get up there. Hey, where's the drop on there? Where's that drop? I don't know. Is this all there is? Yeah. That's that hell of a thing. Good morning, Mr. Bartow. How'd you like your breakfast this morning? Who are you? Why, I'm the cook, sir. No, you're not. After that breakfast you serve, you're the dishwasher. There's the cook. Take orders from him now. You understand? Come on, come on. Good morning, Mr. Trent. Good morning. I'll turn over your watch to you now. All hands up. All hands up, I said. All right now, man. This is Mr. Trent, your new second officer. You'll take orders from him from now on. And if any of you care to dispute his authority, you have my permission. All right, Mr. Trent. As long as you men do your work, you'll get a square deal from me. Dirty beach coma. Oh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mr. Barstow. Oh, Mary, this is Mr. Trent, our new second officer. How do you do? What happened to Mr. Miller? Well, he jumped ship last night in Singapore. Oh, uh, Trent, you'd better keep an eye on the men. Well, You said you were going to bring a doctor aboard last night. Oh, yes, dear. I made every effort to, but there wasn't a doctor to be found. They'd all gone up country, fever-stricken. Jump! What's a bet? 
I don't know what we're going to do, Father. It's wet this morning. Well, he'll be better, all right. You better have a little turn about the deck. Your cheeks are pale. Got to put a little color in those cheeks. <laughs> Come, what do you say? A little turn or two around the deck, eh? Your daughter, I suppose, Mr. Barstow. The country, uh, <laughs> no. Now, this is Captain Carroll's daughter. Oh, Mary, dear, may I present an old friend of mine, Miss Minaldo. How do you do? How do you do? You're very welcome here. Miss Minaldo's folks are old friends of mine in Manila. She wanted to go to them, and I knew your father wouldn't care. You are so kind, Mr. Boss. Of course, Father wouldn't care. Uh, you'll excuse me, won't you, Mary? And I'll I'll make Miss Guinaldo a little more comfortable. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Come on, you. Get on here. I want to talk to you. Me? Yeah. And you'd better stay in it. Say, what the devil are you doing on board? Well, last night you would not tell me about that girl. So I come to find out for myself. She is very pretty. Yeah, still that stuff. Are you going to try to knife me like you did last night? Maybe. But now I see you are so happy to be with me again. I changed my mind. Hmm. But you must be very, very nice to me. Yeah? Then you keep your mouth shut and mind your own business. Maybe. You cause trouble for me, and I'll chuck you in the chain room the same as I would any one of the crew. All right. I'd be good, girl. Maybe it was foolish for me to come to her, but I am very foolish. Or I never love you. <laughs> that is all over now. You have no sweetheart. <laughs> Shut up and stay shut. Till that goes down, past those bill stripes. That's a suit like he's never tasted in his life before. I've really surprised myself. I don't know how I do it. Come in. 
Mr. Trent from the Royal Oak will come up on deck a minute, sir. Yes, I'll be right up. I'll be back in just a moment, Captain. Hand me those papers, please. All of these? Yes, sir. How do you feel? Oh, pretty good. You like a cup of tea? Thanks, dear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We bird. didn't take on any cargo at Singapore. Oh, I beg your pardon, but we I know better. Insured for eighty thousand eh? dollars. I see. I wouldn't get out of bed. I am still running the ship. Put up your hands. No, oh, Boston. That's why every ship you sail on goes to the bottom. Well, this is one ship you won't sink. You're going to Manila now. And you're going to spend the rest of your days in jail. Daddy! Your, your father just had a stroke. I warned him not to get out of bed. Daddy. We better hail the first steamer and transfer the skipper where he can have medical aid. Yes, you go and give orders in that effect. I'll stay here and help Mary. All right. Well, there it is. Oh, Don't please. worry. I'll get him into bed. You go up and get some air. That's kind of you, Pancho. I believe I will. You believe Pancho, your friend? Why, yes. You trust me? Why, yes, can't you? Then I tell you something. Like woman to woman. Can't you tell me? Stay away from Barstow. Don't be alone with me. Mr. Barstow? <laughs> but that's ridiculous. You know nothing about me. Me? I know plenty. I have seen him look at you. Whenever you get a chance, he puts his hands on you. Let go of that ship, Chase! If that's what they're reading nowadays, give me a good old-fashioned romance. Where a man's a man, not a gigolo. What do you mean? A real man doesn't go around sampling all the women he meets. When the right girl comes along, he knows it. Hey, Peggy, come in. Hi, sir. I want to see him. Below. Hi, sir. Well, I didn't like the book much myself. But then I don't know anything about such things. How can you be so sure? Because I knew the moment I saw you. Barstow Street, you, sir. Very well. We'll settle our differences later. Yes, sir. He should be buried immediately. I'll read the services at eight bells. 
I'll tell all hands to stand by. Oh. Oh. Poor child. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother here departed, we therefore commit his body to the deep to be turned into corruption looking for the resurrection of the body when the sea shall give up her dead and the life of the world to come. Dead skipper. Think of that poor girl crying her heart out. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, come on, come on, Claude. We, we better get on up and get, uh, get, the, get the morning breakfast started. We do. Good idea, Snowball. You get out yourself. You think you throw me out and tell her a lot of lies. And you think she believe you. Well, I tell her about you, and I tell her about your dirty deals with Wong. Shut up, you! I oh, know it's too late to shut me up. She, she knows what you are, a lying sneak, a fatherly protector who can't keep his hands on I'll shut you up. I'll turn you over to the truth. Come on, you. I'll turn you over to the truth. Hey, you let Come me go. You do as I tell you. You come on here. Come let on. Go. You come on. Go. I'll let you go. You do as I tell you. Oh, you scratch me, will you? Why, you... I'll give you to the men. Mr. Bosco, I wouldn't treat a dog like that. Uh, you again, eh? Ah! 
entirely on you. Think it over. Well, that'll hold you all right. Go on. what you're going to do with Mr. Trent. <laughs> what do you care? He's just another sailor. Well, I'm still commanding this ship. The law allows me to use any measure to preserve discipline. And, uh, I can do anything I want to with him. Hmm. I've been waiting for you to come here and beg for him. Come on. Sit down. Let's get down to cases. I admit I... I have had my eye on you ever since I came aboard this ship. And I usually get what I want. Well, well, you're going to marry me. Marry you? Yeah, marry me. Regular, proper, and legal. All right. I'll marry you in Manila. Oh, no, no. You might change your mind after I try to shore. We'll be off the drone island tonight. You'll row ashore with me. The missionary will tie the knot with us. What do you say, huh? What do you say? Boys, listen. This ship will be put in charge of Miss Carroll when we get to Manila. Now, Manila's a dry port. There's plenty of liquor on board, and Basto wants you to drink it up. <laughs> cargo for one. On which he collects if the boat goes down. Oh, oh. And she goes down tonight. Huh? You always were smart. <laughs> <laughs> They're at it. They'll be dead to the world in half an hour. Yeah. 
Well, they may as well pass out heavy. <laughs> How are they? Come on, Mr. Mitchell. Look what I found, folks. I want to tell you, dirty dog. What do you want me to do? Go up and tell Barstow? What do I care for Barstow? Did you see him clatter on the deck, you see? Why are there swimming in the field without drinking, Mitch? Come on! Look here, Star. I don't like your tone of ice. You know, I can slip the noose around your neck any minute I want to. You know that. And I can do the same to you. Yeah? You killed Miller. Yeah? And you killed Captain Carroll. Ah, yeah, Why, what old friends I got want to fight over a few old dirty dollars for. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll give you ten thousand. How's that, eh? Well, it's little enough for blowing up a ship with all on board. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. All right, sit down and I'll tell you what we'll do. Hey, you want to slip up on the deck and get rid of that monkey at the wheel, see? Get him down below in the hole. Abby? All right. <laughs> Listen, what about the women? Well, of course, you know, I'm taking Miss Carroll ashore with me. Yeah, I figured that. But what about the other one, Conscious? Well, I'm a generous soul, and you're on my mm -hmm. You can have it. No, thanks. No wild cats for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I didn't mean anything about that 10,000, no, you? You didn't? No. Good time down below deck. Why don't you go down and dance for him? No. Go down and dance for him or I'll. All right. Maybe I will. I changed my dress. Well, uh, something like it. There's lots more. Here, go on, Prince. What 
Trent, what are you doing here? As long as you're here, now come along with us. Where are we going? We're showing off to the nearest island. Ha! <laughs> 